Wildfire risk reality. A new report is shining new light on the relationship between fire danger, damage, and income inequality. Thanks for staying with us here at 5 30. I'm Adrienne Moore. And I'm Curtis Ming. CBS 13's Andrew Hobner is getting answers on how these findings can help homeowners. New research may alter the way we look at fires. When we think about doing fire risk reduction, which California is really serious about, that they need to make sure they're viewing it through an appropriately broad lens. What Chris Field and Miyuki Hino found was an area with a high risk of fire damage had an average higher income, but that wasn't necessarily the place getting hit the hardest. There are these socioeconomic differences and that there are these economic trends connected with that, especially in real estate prices, that, that ought to be a focus of the way we do fire risk reduction planning. As repeated areas with fire experience tended to be lower income. The relationship that really jumped out was the one with the number of historical fires. Research which can now prompt some alterations for emergency services. Also, vulnerable members of our communities are disproportionately impacted by disasters. And, you know, we, we firmly believe that your zip code or the amount of money you make should not impact your ability to stay safe and survive a disaster. Cal OES telling CBS 13 that they're always on the forefront of risk reduction for vulnerable populations. We really have gotten so much more sophisticated just in the last couple of years in terms of how we use data to keep focused. Safe. As they try to mitigate the risk as climate change brings more unpredictable weather in unpredictable places. We want to learn and get better every single day and every time a new report comes out like the one that you mentioned, we use that to build on our understanding of what's happening. If There's lots of vulnerability to wildfire. It's not just the vulnerability that's mapped by the, by the official hazard maps. One factor researchers included small wildfires in their analysis, which typically do not get the same attention as large fires.